This is the Forgotten Zombies map in 2023. And if you couldn't tell already, the map is Nuketown. Now, of course, you're going to be able to hear a bit of a difference in my microphone quality. I'm actually recording this at someone else's house. We've got a perk dropping in from the sky. So if you don't know about Nuketown, it's a survival map. It's a very unique experience. Perks drop from the sky as well as the Pack-a-Punch machine. And I just thought, you know, why not play this, man? Go back to some bare bones sort of fun survival map experience. Not played Black Ops 2 Zombies for a little bit. I'm hoping the audio isn't too scuffed. I tried my best to put as many good filters on as possible. I'm using a headset mic, so it's going to sound kind of crappy, not going to lie. But I want to actually get a video out on Thursday, which is when this will be going up. But yeah, let's just uh, try our best not to go down. The uh, the monitor I'm playing on is, I think it's 1650 by 1080. So I've had to stretch it out to 1920 by 1080 to record in the best possible quality. And needless to say, um, a little bit of my screen is on the second monitor right now. <laughs> But it's fine, you know. I can see most of the game. So yeah, the premise of this, we're just gonna uh, go for as high a round as possible and not go down on round two. Boom, grab this nuke. See, this map's kind of interesting because as you can hear right now, the moon easter egg is actually going on as we're playing this map. Which is kind of insane. Uh, is the box here? It is. Okay. I should have checked first before opening the door, but it's fine. Now, perks don't drop super often, but... Oh, we got the LSAT. Let's go. Fun fact, this gun is actually only on Mob of the Dead and Nuketown Zombies on this game. And maybe it's on Buried? I think... Oh, yeah, it is. It, you, the way to get it on Buried is you have to uh, do the little jump shot thing at the very spawn. Or oh, insta-kill. That'll definitely come in handy. Yeah, it's one of the best guns, like, just period. Non-wonder weapons, of course. I absolutely love the blue bullet casing. It just looks so cool. But yeah, this map's been out for a solid 10 years now, which is just insane to think about. It's been out for technically 11 years, because this came out with the release of Black Ops 2 Zombies. I think it was like a season pass bonus or something. Let's go for another spin to see what we get. There's no point in saving points just yet, because we don't exactly have any perks available. <gasps> the M27- No, you're kidding. We just got like two of the most exclusive weapons on this map. The M27 is actually only in Nuketown Zombies. It's in BO2 multiplayer, obviously, but it's not in any other Zombies map, which I don't get. Because to be honest, it's one of the best guns. It's probably like my favorite assault rifle in all of COD Zombies. It's just, it's so perfect. It's got like little to no recoil, high damage, kind of slow fire rate, but it's good. Because it means you don't waste ammo, of course. Because if, if you're faster you fire in Zombies, the more likely you are to uh, waste some bullets. Oh, we've got another perk dropping in. So they can spawn anywhere on the map, which is quite cool. Where's it going? It looks like... Okay, it's in the middle of the map, I think. Okay, perk anywhere. Looks like it might be in this building, actually. Did it drop in here? No. Is it in the back? No. Maybe it's in the building then. I'm not actually sure where it is. Just wasting all of my points trying to find wherever the goddamn perk is but please tell me it's in here it is it's speed color as well not bad i mean ideally you know we'd want to buy something like uh i don't know double tap maybe first would be good but i speed color is pretty solid as well dude remember the nuketown bunker everyone was like oh my god you can totally get in here there's like an easter egg and it's funny because you can in the Alpha Omega Nuketown remake, which came out like, what, five years after BO2 or like six years? It almost makes you think like they totally put it in just to service the fans. Oh, we got a max. Nice. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, the best place to train in Nuketown, honestly, it's either of the back gardens or backyard if you're American. You just don't want to get stuck underneath there. Oh my God, let's be careful. Ooh. The double swipe is real in this game. So yeah, you don't want to get stuck underneath the staircase because that would be pretty bad. Oh, this gun is just... It's just a laser beam. It really is. There's little to no recoil. There we go. Dust around. Just heard the transit bus. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, nice little Easter egg. Because I think timeline-wise, someone could correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this takes place. Well, obviously, it's around the same time as the moon Easter egg's being done. And when the map finishes and you die the nuke from the moon easter egg ending drops on the map and that's what creates transit but the reason you can hear the bus i'm pretty sure is because like this is nearby where it originally set off from i could be completely wrong about that but i'm at least 90 percent accurate which you know could be better what's that another nuke i mean we might as well pretty sure it'll end the route can you move zombies Jesus. Oh, it didn't end it. Okay, fair enough. I believe the perk system, they drop after a certain amount of kills. Or maybe it's rounds or time. I'm fairly sure it's kills, though. But yeah, now we have speed cola. But of course, we don't have jug, so we don't want to uh, go down. 
because we would just lose it. Might actually save up some points instead of going for the box. This map got a little bit of hate because obviously the perk system's random, right? So you could end up getting Jug or Pack-a-Punch by like round 18 plus, which is a bit annoying to deal with. Honestly, with this scuffed setup, I'm not even sure we'll be able to make it to round 10, but we'll see. Oh God, okay, we're fine, we're fine. We've got double points as well. I hear that uh, dong sound effect. Not a perk, but sometimes you'll get a sound effect. Or like there's a counter on the Nuketown sign in the middle of the map which basically it changes the drop in the back garden of one of the uh, the houses. There's like a bunker you can go into. Oh my God, as I'm just almost going down. It's weird because the fact that the monitor is like, I don't know, the resolution is slightly spread. It means that the, uh, the crosshair isn't in the exact center of this monitor. So when I'm looking at it, I have to look a bit to the left, which is just kind of funny, to be honest. Uh, M27 is actually out of ammo, but we have got the L set. I mean, it's good enough for, uh, for now. What did you guys think about Nuketown Zombies? I was... I was a pretty decent fan of it, you know? It's one of my favorite maps from Black Ops 2. I definitely prefer it to, you know, some of the full map releases, like Transit, Die Rise. Arguably more than Buried, but I mean, that would be a bit sacrilegious to say. I hear another perk dropping. Gotta not get stuck underneath here with the headless fucking zombies. Where's it dropping? Oh, it looks like it's all the way on the other side. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's just line them all up, mow them down. Easy peasy. And we got a max as well. Nice. And I think that's the last zombie because he's screaming. On Black Ops 2, the last zombie will always just be so much louder and it'll always be sprinting. So it's a good way to know when you're down to the last one. All right, let's see. I'm imagining that the perk is actually going to be in the back now. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it Jug? It's Jug. Let's fucking go. Now, goddamn time as these fire whirlwinds in the back are just like spinning what the hell's going on there but yeah let me just show you guys the drop thing i was on about so here this will change every so often it costs like three thousand to open that door it's good if you have a max ammo saved up but as you can see over here on this sign we need another 49 kills to change the drop over there this is not for the perks. People seem to get that mixed up sometimes. But if we open up this door, which is also 3000, by the way, we've got some nice wall buys, you know, Semtex grenades, we'll pick those up. AK-74U, we've got a Bowie knife, which is cool. Claymores. And then if you knife the back of here, there's actually Galvan knuckles on this map, which is super cool, you know? One of the best melee weapons of all time and only on a few maps. So if we get 6,000 points, then we might actually be able to buy it. I mean, we had 6,000 before we opened that door, but costs 3k i suppose the map is small so the uh, expensive doors is kind of uh, justified a little bit but jug is definitely gonna help for my fucking oh god speaking of will oh my god can we not go down please oh shit i got sandwiched between two fucking zombies oh god oh god <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Just do a little loop-de-loop -loop and apparently get out there. Training in zombies, a lot of the time, if you just double back on yourself a couple times, you'll actually be able to make out of ridiculous situations like that. Okay, here we go. Spray them all down. Fucking absolute beast of a gun. And that was just the round. Wow. We did get a max, so we can actually use this M27 again. Oh, and we got 6k. Uh, we'll get Galvan Knuckles next round. I don't want to risk buying them in the middle. Or, you know, fuck it, dude. Live life on the edge, man. Man. That was a word. Totally. Fuck it. Bye, Galvan Knuckles. Totally not going to get stuck underneath here now. Come on. Please get me out. Okay, good. We would love some double tap 2.0 right now but eh, we're fine. Honestly, I think I prefer Nuketown Zombies to Alpha Omega. I like what they were doing with the map in Black Ops 4. You know, the elemental ray gun Mark IIs is pretty cool, but at the same time, all of those are pretty much worse than the original ray gun Mark II. And the mechanics of like the fucking, oh, the power turning off and like, it's literally the thing from infection on exo zombies that everybody hated. So I don't know why they decided, you know what, let's copy infection. Oh yeah, let's actually use these galvanicals. Boom, one shot. <laughs> it's so nice having a one shot melee on like past round one, I guess. The Bowie knife is so underwhelming. It costs 3k and it only one hits until round eight. Like, to be honest, I think they should up the Galvan Knuckles and the Bowie knife one hit melee because if you're going for melee kills, you're already putting yourself at a risk by being in melee range of the zombies. Like the whole reason of having guns is to shoot them before they get near you, right? Like that's the whole mechanic of COD zombies. If you want to get better at the game, you literally just have to learn the distancing between the zombies. Like that's what training is. You group them all up, but you just keep them far enough away that they're not slapping you constantly so you go down. It's, you know, it's nice because it's just a very logical way to play a video game, which I appreciate. Why zombies is so addicting as well, because it's just like, well, if you mess up, 
a lot of the time when you mess up, it's totally your fault. Like, I'm never going to get pissed if I have four downs because I'm going to be like, well, I, I suck, you know? I will, however, get pissed if I die through a glitch. Now, that's different. Insta-kill. Oh, this round's going to go by super easy then. Look at this shit. And that's it. I love the M27, but I'm uh, I'm considering getting rid of one of these. M27 is map exclusive. Let's let's get rid of the LSAT. Call me crazy, you know, it's a godly gun, but I want to have a bit of variety with the weapons. I've kind of used it to death already. The execution is a cool gun, but it's like, well, look, I fire all my four shots and then you have to reload one by one. I know with speed cutter, it's a bit better, but it's not even a one shot anymore, dude. Oh, that's just tragic, really, isn't it? Oh god, I'm almost getting stuck there. Holy shit. It's fine. We're okay. A slightly higher sensitivity on this computer is actually helping me out a little bit. God, they really do cap the fire rate of how fast you can spam this shit. I swear you used to be able to fire this so much faster. Pew pew pew. Oh, a nuke. Well, that'll end the round. We'll probably do a new perk soon. Mtar. Oh, yep, speak of the devil. Hopefully it lands here so we don't have to go too far, you know. These little spots here are what's available. It's like a, a plant pot. I think it is. It looks like it's going to spawn right here. Then we've got another plant pot over there. Hey, it was literally right here, dude. And it's the Pack-a-Punch. Let's go. Pack-a-Punch the M27. The absolute god gun itself. I'm a fan of the uh, original Pack-a-Punch camo, you know? It's it's quite nice. It's got this like sort of bluish tint to it that I really like. 390 bullets for an AR Pack-a-Punch. You know, it's not bad. I feel like, what game is it? Is it Cold War that just has a ridiculous amount of ammo in the reserve for, like, every gun? Like, I'm pretty sure, what is it, the Krig 6 has about 800 total ammo, which is just insane. Like, that's what you'd expect an LMG to have, bro. I mean, I know Cold War is fairly easy, but that just makes it even easier. Now, fun fact, Double Packet Punch is actually in this game which a lot of people don't think or know about. It only works for the guns that are from Black Ops 2 itself. So like the M27, we can definitely double pack a punch. So here we go. Boom. Costs half the price, even though it actually says it costs 5,000. It doesn't. I think it's 2,000. But look, it changes the attachments. So now we have a target finder in zombies. Like it's kind of a bit nuts. It's also pack a punch at MTAR. Boom, gimme, gimme. The Malevolent Taxonomic Anodized Redeemer. What a fucking name. And then the M27 is just the mystifier. <laughs> yeah, double papping, all it does is change the attachments. I think you can get stuff like a foregrip and long barrel on them, but I could be wrong. I don't think you can get suppressors. That wasn't added until... What game was it? Was it... Maybe it was Cold War, actually, where you could put suppressors in zombies. Oh, no, it was BO4, I think. And it gave you, like, a higher chance of getting drops, but you lose a little bit of damage, which... To be honest, it's probably worth. Pew, 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 pew. Like, the little target finder is so shit, not gonna lie. Doesn't really do much, but it's just, it's niche, it's cool. Insta kill. All right. MTAR time. I love the MTAR. Like, just the really tubular look to it is pretty cool. Got this triangle yellow red dot, which also changes every time you pack a punch it. Let's change the M27 again. I wanna try and get a foregrip. Is it possible? Boom, what have we got? Nope, but we have... Oh god, we have a really ugly sight now. Get rid of that shit. And yeah, it is 2,000 points. Okay. Fucking pick up the gun. Fucking pick up the gun. We're fine. Got the target finder back. You know, honestly, I'll take it, man. I'm sorry for uh, slagging you off. It's it's a decent gun. Pew, 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 pew. It's just cool. It, like, outlines everything in the map, even the walls. All right, spray. I think the MTAR has one of the best headshot ratios, which is good. What's that? An insta? Not bad. Gimme, gimme. Just hit fire a little bit. Now, there's actually, like, no good fifth option for perk on this map. It's literally quick revive, speed cola, jug, and double tap. Like, I think you can get dead shot, maybe. I don't think you can get mule kick or stamina. I could be wrong, though. But it's just, like, why would you buy those perks anyway, even if you could get them? It's just better to get the core four. God, the map looks so cool. Oh, shit. Sorry. I was appreciating the aesthetics, man. I didn't mean to fucking almost go down. I feel like Nuketown Zombies has got to be one of the most forgotten maps of all time, though. Like, seriously. Hardly anyone has played this or, like, remembers it very well. Oh, my Jesus. Look how many drops we just got. A max ammo, a double point, an insta-kill, and a nuke. Like, <laughs> and three of them were, like, on top of each other. Fucking nuts. Galvanicles. It's no longer a one hit, I don't think, but, you know, it is insta-kill. Zap. Zap. Oh, fuck. Hello. Should we try and get this Reagan Mark II? I feel like we're just not going to get it. 
But it's worth a try. Oh, we got the ray gun. What the fuck? I mean, saying that, hello. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Go ahead and pack a punch this bad boy. Gimme, gimme. Now, I'm not a fan of the, the camo on the ray gun itself. I think it looks better regular, but still, I do like the Black Ops 2 ray gun. Like, just this red mist that comes out is pretty nice. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Oh, fuck. Whoa, I just saw that zombie leap. What was that, dude? Bro should try out for the Olympics. What the fuck? Pew, pew, pew. It's like a two shot. No PhD, of course, but still, the ray gun's nice. It's like one of the best guns you can get on this map because there is no wonder weapon. It would have been nice if they put like, I don't know, even the jet gun in the box would have been cool because it would have just been like maybe a way you could use it without having to build it and play on shitty transit or even just put the fucking thunder gun in there or something to uh, entice the old zombies players because that was what Nuketown zombies was supposed to be. Oh God, mouse sensitivity. It was supposed to be the map that bridged people from Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2 because transit is obviously a massive like different experience for anyone who played BO1 and is going to BO2. So it's just a more simplified version, which I think people appreciated a bit more. What we're going to get on this now. Oh, we got this shitty sight again. Dude, I'm going to stop double packet punching it because I swear saying that I'm going to do it again. I'd rather just get it with no sight, that, like to be honest. Come on, what are we going to get? Back to the fucking target, fine. Are those the only two sights I can get now? Apparently. Pew, pew, pew. God, I, I, just, I have a habit of just saying that, man. Every time I go for kills, it's just pew, pew, pew. It's like saying it isn't going to make the gun any more powerful, but I just subconsciously can't stop myself. Oh, was that a nuke? Not bad, not bad. Move out the way. Oh, God, almost getting stuck on crawlers. Move, zombos. One thing I wish that COD zombies would do, I don't know which games did this. Some of them did, but not all of them. I wish that when you get a nuke, the zombie bodies would become, like, just hollow so you could just walk through them. Because the amount of times, dude, that they just cock block you in the middle of a hallway and you can't kill them, obviously. It's just like, well, shit, me, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Double points, max ammo, not bad. Another max ammo, not bad as well. Ooh, and we got a perk dropping, huge. Where's it going? It looks like it's gonna drop, is that in the house, maybe? Uh, no, other side of the map, okay. Let's give it a look-see, shall we? Is it all the way back here? It is, hey, it's double tap, let's go. And we're complete. We've got everything in the map, pretty much. Sucks, because to get the ray gun Mark II, you have to obviously get rid of the regular ray gun, which is just like, eh, it's kind of tragic, because, well, you know, the whole point of uh, getting a ray gun out of the box and pack a bunch of gears because it's cool or whatever, or I don't know what I'm saying, man. Just, you know, it'd be nice to get a ray gun and a Mark II. Would it be that broken? Like, the regular ray gun stops being super effective at about round 20, and the Mark II stops being effective. I mean, it can be good until round 50, but let's be honest, you're going to run out of ammo way faster than you're going to get to that round most of the time. And the benefit of the Mark II is I don't think the damage changes at all when you pack a punch it, or at least the headshot ratio or something, because the strat on town to get to high rounds is actually just to use the unpack a punch Mark II, and when you really need ammo and you just can't get a max anymore, you just like, either you try and swap it out in the box and get it back so that you get full ammo or you just pack a punch it. Which, you know, I kind of like that strategy. It's, it's interesting. But double tap, I want to try double tap with the M27 because this is about to fucking melt. Right, line all these bastards up. Don't get fucking stuck now. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not looking good. Oh, we're fine. Oh Here we go. Just... Oh yeah, it, it, it goes through ammo a little bit too quick. The only downside to this is there's 30 ammo in the magazine, but it's like two-shotting most of the zombies, so can't really complain too much, can I? Hello, random walking zombie. I swear to God, dude, some of the zombies just, just walk for no reason. We're here, Richtofen. On round 25, which I think is when we're going to end the video probably, because that's when we're going to get the blue-eyed zombies, which is just awesome. Like, the zombie's eye's color changes, which, if you don't know what that means, basically, in the lore of zombies, like, whatever the color of the eyes of the zombies are, it means the person that's in control. So, currently, they're all yellow, or like an orangey color, which means that Maxis is in control of the zombos. Either Maxis or Samantha, actually. I'm not 100% certain on that, which I should know that. I'm pretty sure it's Maxis, though. But the blue-eyed zombies are when Richtofen takes over, basically. He just, like, becomes the all-powerful. He becomes a god, basically, at the end of the Moon Easter Egg. You know what would be really broken is if there was a bank on this map. 
because, <laughs> I mean, look how many points I've got right now. It'd be so easy to just stack up on points and then just go to a map like Transit and then put them all in. I mean, that's kind of what Buried is known for, though, because it's a very easy map, so you just play it to stack up points in the bank. But it's nice because it does make Transit and Die Rise a lot more bearable because trying to get around the map, I mean, Die Rise isn't too bad. It's more transit because there's so many doors and just having to get everywhere is a pain in the ass. Die Rise you can at least elevate a hop, but the problem with Die Rise, man, is just how long it takes to wait for the fucking elevators. Like, why are there only two keys for the elevators so that you can actually bring them down? Like, it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. They should have had more because only two, like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure there's two elevator keys or around there. Two or three. It's just a little tragic, if you ask me. Because, yeah, it just instantly means that whatever is on the elevator, the perk or the packet punch, will just go straight to you, which is very, very useful, of course. What round are we on? I can't even fucking see the round counter, dude. I think it says 21. <laughs> it's just... It's completely cut off because of the uh, aspect ratio, damn it. All right. Is this really the end of the round? God damn, that went fast. Go for another spin in the box. Oh, fuck me! Where the fuck did all these zombies come from? No, like... I swear to god, there was like hardly any around me. What did we even get in there? It was an S12. It wasn't even worth it, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Instantly almost got doubled slapped. No. Oh, damn it. We didn't get to see the blue-eyed zombies, but we do get to see this right now, which basically, it's the end of the moon easter egg. So, oh, that's cool and all. I hope you guys have enjoyed, though. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen because YouTube, you know, recommended it. Says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.